video is a winter haul. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. I've got some goodies here collected over the past about month or so I'd say. Mainly small brands as always, secondhand pieces. I'm so excited to share it with all of you. I also never did a what I got for Christmas video and I kept getting questions about it so Anything that I got for Christmas that was clothes or accessories related will be in this video, that reminds me. I forgot one thing. Today I'm gonna to start off with actually something that I'm wearing and that's a pair of socks. For Christmas, my mum killed it and she got me about 10 pairs of these Calzedonia socks. But she actually picked this like gray color, which I don't know if she, she didn't have her glasses on, I don't know if she meant to go for the black and pick this gray color, but I'm actually so glad that she gave me gray because I think it's just a fun color to play with and I can actually link them down below for all of you. The quality is incredible. And now that I have something from Calzedonia, I kind of understand the prices of these premium hoisery brands. Like they are so expensive for what they are, but I actually do get it and they're also buttery soft. So can I wait to get wearing these in the spring, especially with skirts and stuff. Also starting off strong, a couple pieces from London Lookbook. One of my good friends, Yasmin, has this incredible page on Instagram called London Lookbook, and she sometimes sells vintage in person, and I went to her pop-up she did in December at the past dress shop. It's genuinely one of my favorite pieces that I found in 2022. It's the perfect off the shoulder, chunky knit jumper. And what I love about this one is the fact that most of it underneath is like a jersey stretchy cotton and it's just easier for me to take care of and I don't have to wash it as much because it's not all knit. I don't know, it's just honestly it's the perfect piece and I just love it so much. It originally actually came with these buttons down the side which wasn't really my style and then when I was at the pop-up Gloria was there and Gloria was saying that I should put big safety pins in place of the buttons and I love that idea and I have some big safety pins so I'm definitely going to do that soon. The brand is something called like XDs, I can put the name on the screen. Then also from Yasmeen because her shop is just too good, I had to pick up another piece. This dress is kind of like, <laughs> this was before I dyed my hair blonde or at least I thought I was dyeing my hair blonde, insert my transformation video in the cards here. And I was like me with some dirty blonde hair in the summer, kitten heels, looking like a trashy 2000s rat doll. I'm obsessed, I'm doing it. I love it so much, it's perfect. The cowl neck, it's got like the big belt loop detail, which is just really fun. I love how I can definitely wear it as a skirt over trousers, like this instantly. I actually really, really like, especially with the orange shoes. Ooh. And when I tried it on, I tried it on with her kitten heels, which I think were vintage Cavalli. So good, like that, or like this, like proper styled up, very maximalist, I think is really fun. Love you. Yasmin, love London lookbook, so good, one of my favorite Instagram accounts. Whilst I was in the shop, obviously I was in past trash, so I thought I should shop around their stuff because one of my favorite shops in London. I found this piece, I love this, I think it's such a good basic, but an elevated basic. And when I bought this, I really thought of me in the summer with a tan on the beach with like a black mini skirt and some long boots or some kitten heels always Kent Hills at this point. And it also has this almost playing card print on it with like the clubs and the diamonds, which I love. And if you know my en route jewelry collection, you'll know my obsession with playing cards. Um, I'll link in the cards the video talking about the collection and I have a playing card necklace, so. But also when I was in there, they had some sunglasses in that day. So I bought these. Again, I bought it thinking I was gonna have my like golden blonde hair in the summer but I saw them really working with the animal print cow neck dress, very like trashy 2000s. I don't have sunglasses really in this shape. It's Trevi Coliseum. The next thing, no, it's over. I somehow got sent something from Taurus Souvenirs. Taurus Souvenirs is one of my favorite platforms. They're incredible. They highlight amazing small designers and their Instagram page as a whole is kind of used as like a Pinterest mood board. And the fact that I got to pick something out from their website has me mind blown. And of course I had to pick something from one of my favorite small brands, which is Vitore Lily. You all know. And this moth set was something that when it was dropping, I was adamant that I was going to buy it and it was just a little bit out of my budget so I couldn't at the time. But the fact that I now have this in front of me in my possession, <laughs> literally, goodbye. Probably my favorite two piece set I've ever owned. Definitely my favorite piece from her that I have. She just knows how to make a set, I'm telling you. The way that this mesh top sits, like it hugs you perfectly. 
I love a good long sleeve and it's really making me want to cut some thumb holes. I'm in love with the way I look in this set. Like this is crazy. I also think it really goes with my hair. And the back, like, oh my God, it's just absolutely perfect. The front of this is actually double lined. So you can definitely get away with wearing it without a bra. Like she just knows what she's doing. She's incredible. A massive thank you to Tora Souvenirs for letting me do this. And finally own the piece of my dreams, the moth set from Tora Lily. Um, I will also link any pieces that I can and any brands in the order in the description down below as always. Moving on to another one of my favorite small brands and that's Knee High. I love Knee High so much and I've been eyeing up this set for a while. It actually comes with the matching top and they had it in their Boxing Day sale and I was like, I'm getting it. I am getting it and with hindsight, I kind of wish I just saved and waited till I could afford the matching top because I think on its own, I feel like I just like stuff that makes a big impression and on its own I'm like, it's not doing enough for me, like I want it to be like... She's really fun, she's basically just a perfect mesh skirt basic. I think maybe I should add like a pin or something up here or a big chunky belt, I think that will help like spice it up. Okay, I'm gonna share with you some accessories that I've got. I've got a whole accessory stable, guys. <laughs> One of my favorite new small brands, Planet Introverted. She's amazing, and I already followed her on TikTok and I knew about her brand, because she makes bows, clip in bows. How on theme for me is this? And she reached out to send me some, and I did not know that she was gonna send me like four pairs. This is insane. I've been wearing them on belt loops like on the front and the back recently, which I think is great. And I've got it in the baby pink, this lovely, lovely tartan colorway, the navy, which is perfect. I'm obsessed with navy right now. And the red gingham, you already know. You already know. I have more gingham coming in this haul, you're not ready. Um, literally obsessed with gingham. So the fact that I have gingham bows, it's over. So thank you so much Planet Introverted, you've literally saved me. Incredible, and I love how the work is already done for you, like the bow is already done, the clip is already there. Also another piece from a new small brand that I've been introduced to, Reba, I think is how you say it. They're a new jewelry company that have just started and she's come out with this insane necklace. I'm gonna get close so you can see. It's basically baby blue with stars and crystals. The quality of it is incredible and I also love the detail of like the chain with the star. I also have packaging, I've said this before, packaging that a brand gives me will make me love the brand 10 million times more. The care that she put into her packaging was amazing, I've never ever seen jewellery in a silver ball like that and I was so confused at what this parcel was when I was like this genius has sent me this and the stickers, everything, packaging was amazing, branding is amazing, like the necklace is amazing. I think she's going to be one to watch. Like I said before, her Instagram will be linked down below. A massive thank you. And I'm going to keep it on because I think it looks really, really good stacked. Next, I have a couple scrunchies. I got all of these for Christmas. First, I'm going to start off with my favorite because I got a good squish scrunchie, guys. I've been talking about this for so long. I put it on my Christmas list and my cousin's boyfriend had me in Secret Santa and he came through and supplied the goods. I can actually link this exact one down below. It just looks like coral. It looks like an art piece, like it sits on my um, dressing table and it literally looks like a bundle of joy. It's incredible. And the other day I actually wore it on my ankle with these orange heels. I thought it looked so good. And you all know I love gingham, so. I also got this one from my mum. Um, it's from an Etsy seller, I will link it down below. It's gingham. Yeah, green and pink. I love these two colors together. And this one is a really, really soft linen fabric. Another scrunchie, I actually bought this one for myself as a Christmas present. Uh, is that a thing? Maybe not. Maybe I just bought it for myself. And it's also from Etsy. I will link the seller down below. I think she's a really good, sort of good squish dupe. Obviously it's very different. Like the shape of the good squishes are a lot thicker and bigger, but this is like a really good in between um, as the price is amazing for this one. And of course I got it in red gingham, ha, um, with this like cream trim. I just thought it was really fun. Also, whilst we're on the kind of small brand accessories front, I may as well show you this last piece, which I got from Etsy. And I spoke about loving crochet earmuffs like this on the channel. And my friend Maya messaged me saying that her 
friend's mum had started selling these on her Etsy page. So I was like, I have to do it. I got it in orange. I don't have any hats or anything in orange. So I just thought it was really fun. What do we think of this? Do I look ridiculous? Yeah. But it is also the part of the vibe. Yeah. I think it's really cute. And I like that you can still get away with wearing like headphones underneath. I'm so happy that Maya sent that to me as well. Maya, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Okay, moving on to definitely one of my favorite pieces in the haul, the Sue Samusa dress. A round of applause, people, I got it. I finally got my hands on it. I think this is the Kyra dress. I'm pretty sure, again, will be linked down below. My mum came through and she got it for me for Christmas. I'm shocked, I'm so happy. Definitely the type of dress that I think would work over trousers. In my personal opinion, I actually wore them with my camo trousers, which I thought was really fun, contrasting that typically feminine, typically masculine. I just love it so much. I think in the summer with a bikini underneath or a bodysuit underneath, I love Susamusa. I love this dress. Moving on, oh my God. Okay, you all know my red short gingham bloomers. They're from Melissa T Tilda. My dyslexic brain cannot always compute certain names and her name I always trip up on. So if I ever say her, username wrong i'm so so sorry you all know those shorts and then i did my jewelry collection with en route i really wanted those shorts but in the three quarter length capri version so i commissioned melissa and they are perfect i'm obsessed with these obviously they're red gingham like guys this is actually going to be the summer of red gingham for me so fun like giving clown also kind of like five-year-old type of thing we'd wear maybe when we were back in like 2005 or something like you know she's really given everything her bloomers are also so comfortable like i could sleep in these i think they're great for festivals and that's where you're gonna be seeing me wearing these i think very limnick style with like a baby tee and maybe kitten heels out and about running errands in the spring and summer of london do you know what i mean i can just really see these working with baby tees so happy that i got them made i think she's incredible she's definitely one to watch i think she's going to do some really really cool new designs but saying that i actually have something that she threw in for me which is so kind i did not expect this and it's something um which is coming out soon and it's in this classic red and green tartan and you know what i love about this colorway it really looks like classic boxers boyfriend's boxers that you might borrow so i think it's really fun to kind of wear them as if they're boxers but they're better than buying boxes like that because they're thicker they're better for more occasions because of that like you can definitely dress these up with long black boots a really nice going out top like i see these being such a good universal piece and also because they look like boxers i think they're going to be really really fun to wear under baggy low waist jeans popping out which is what i did with her other bloomers that i've got and i really like the way that looks so i think with these they'll like achieve that here's my boxes popping out of my trouser look back into a bit of a normal outfit the next thing is from another small brand and that's lucy green aka lucy lou i think her page is called she sells on depop and she hand knits pieces and she sent me this incredible scarf she's such a talented knitter i think this scarf is perfect and obviously she's added the little bows which do i even need to explain and obviously it's red and white which I can wear with my gingham. I have some pieces from Drowsco. Drowsco are a really cool sustainable business. They sell a bunch of different pieces, but I have three of their baby tees, which basically have different messages on the back to big names kind of ruining our planet right now. So this one is to Elon. This one is to Jeff and this one is to Richard. I don't actually know who Richard is in the game. I will put him on screen. I'm sure he's done terrible things for the environment and capitalism and the state of this world. Guys, I clearly need to get on the news. Who is Richard? I will find out. And also, in my opinion, they are one of the best baby tee shapes I've ever had the pleasure of owning. Already, can you see what I'm talking about? She hugs you. I am hugged in a wrap of like soft cotton and warmth and coziness it's perfect like i feel so hugged but i'm not like restricted the way that the ribbed fits here it just like it's just i, I can't express like I i've told so many people about the fit of these tops like they are generally perfect you're perfect every day staple but there's an amazing message behind it i've worn all of these so much already and i've only had them a couple weeks next i'm going to share with you a couple pairs of shoes first pair i got for christmas I've been talking about these North Face, I don't even know what the name is, maybe like Trek, I feel like they're Trek something, I'm not sure. You know the padded North Face outdoor slippers? I've been talking about these since my previous Christmas wishes video, 
been wanting them for so long and my dad got them for me for Christmas and luckily they went up to a uh, size 6 in the kids section so I got them in the kids so they're actually quite a bit cheaper and I'll link the link that I sent to my dad in the description which I assume where he got them from it's literally like being cuddled with like clouds it's so nice I get the hype over all of these shoes I don't want to take these off they're so soft. They're literally perfect. And then, a couple weeks ago, I got approached by a PR company, Carla Otto, if I wanted to pick something out from Ugg's new collection. Nah, this is crazy. This is crazy. And obviously I had to pick up these. I had just a few to choose from, but the minute I saw these, I was like, it's over. I'm getting these. They're literally perfect. And you can obviously see why, like, I knew I was going to love them. Equally as comfortable, I would say, to the North Face ones, but they have this whole like thin chalet material. It's made from 78% recycled fabric. And I've been wearing them every day since I got them. They are my perfect like running errands, shoe, hungover, going summer shoe, going to work. And now I have these on. I get to wear them for the rest of the video and be comfy. Even with this outfit, like the color palette, it just makes sense. Moving on to another small brand, Miss Gabby Crew. Gabby Crew is an OGD popular she also sells jewelry and she's also dropping her first ever design soon which is so exciting and she very kindly wanted to send it to me so here we have it i love it firstly she sent me this amazing heart pendant oh she's good she's heavy too how stunning is that like the silver frame apparently you can also get it with a gold um hoop if you like wear gold more i just think it's the perfect basic super stretchy Mine is in a size medium. I think I could definitely go up a size. I'm not sure when the top's dropping, but I know it'll be soon. So I'm sure if you pester her on DMs, if she hasn't already uploaded it, then she'll, you know, make the full launch. It's so 2000s. I probably wouldn't wear it with cargos. I would definitely wear it with like a black mini skirt, I think, and like dress it up in that way. Next, a couple of pieces from Peachy Den. Starting off so strong with something I also got for Christmas. I actually bought this myself and I think that's maybe why you would have already seen pictures of me posting it before Christmas if you follow me on Instagram. And that's the incredible Gaia dress. I've been obsessed with this dress and then it was this TikTok that I was like, done, I'm getting it, I need it in my life. I'm wearing it with the Peachy Dun Mimi's. This, <laughs> on its own. This dress is cool because it has obviously the ribbons which on its own fun but then you can also tighten them and then i have an asymmetric vibe hello oh yeah never explained basically i bought it for myself and then my dad didn't have like a final present for me and then i said oh i just got this do you want to pay me for it so yeah i basically got this from my dad for christmas which was amazing and saved me some money so i'm very very grateful for that then a couple other pieces from Peachy Den I actually got gifted as I got invited down to celebrate their Boxing Day sale and their sample sale. When small brands do sample sales like Peachy Den, I am obsessed because the sample stuff is always so fun and so interesting. I already showed it in my outfits of the week when I went to the shop, so you may have already seen these. Hello, they better release these or a version of these because I need everyone to be wearing them. I think they're amazing. They're basically, they actually also look huge. They're basically these big like granny pants. As I said before, I've been loving wearing bloomers under my baggy jeans and these are effectively a bloomer silhouette. So I just knew it'd work. As a bikini bottom, I think that would work. I think they're just fab and they're just such a fun piece. And they've also got their um, little label at the back, which I think is also a really nice detail. And then I got to pick something from their general collection that wasn't on sale. And I went for their sling bag. I've been wanting to get a sling bag for a while and they make these out of the same fabric as all their Mimi cargos. So this is like the main I'm just a walking advertisement for Peachy Dent and what? What are you gonna do about that? Do you know what I mean? What are you gonna do? Okay, this piece, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've already seen this if you've watched my outfits of the week because I wore it every day. <laughs> I wore it every day. And it's from Jackie. It's the coat of my dreams. And I remember I found it on their Instagram from this picture and I was like, just from that picture, I don't even need to see anything else, I'm buying it. I got it in a size 10, which I think is a really good size. and definitely fit hoodies and jackets underneath. I really like how the collar dips. I've realized that that is a detail I'm really drawn to with um, like furry coats like this. I just think it really softens it up and it really reminds me of Margot Tenenbaum. Can't unsee it. Moving on, another gingham piece. The last gingham piece in this haul, I promise. Okay, I'm not gonna overdo it guys. 
this, not gonna overdo it. When I was doing my en route shoot for the jewelry collection, there was a slight chance that Melissa Tilda Bloomers wouldn't arrive in time, so I bought these as a backup. I found them on Depop and they're Miss 60, which I didn't actually realize at the time. Ideal World shoes would maybe be brown, I think that would work. And I just grabbed this because I was like, I want you to see the vision. When I first got back into gingham a few years ago, like I generally had visions about awkward length trouser like this in a baby pink gingham. So I feel so happy that I've come across them. They fit me good, they're Miss 60. They're fab. I'm so, so, so happy with them. And I'm really sorry if you don't get it. If you don't get the Capri vibe, like that's okay. Like it's cool, you don't need to, but like the people that get it, get it, and the people that don't, don't. Moving on to the next piece, this is a coat, or maybe more of a jacket than a coat. I follow Olive Simpson on TikTok, and she sometimes sells on Depop, and she posted like a TikTok showing all the stuff she was gonna list. And I was like, drop that tartan coat right now, I'm buying it. She dropped it, I bought it. You all know I'm loving like funky, check tartan, whatever you wanna call it. Somebody actually called me out the other day when I posted that video being like, it's not tartan, it's check. And I was like, I'm dyslexic guys, like, I actually do say the wrong word, I, I'm not good for these technical terms half the time, like don't really trust much that comes out of my mouth, do you know what I mean? So I'm really sorry about that one, but fine, check, time, whatever you want to call it. Okay, question is, will it look good with these capris? I actually think it does look pretty good, so yeah, I'm going to keep these trousers on. The original brand is Miss Selfridge, I believe, I love the length. I love the colour palette, I love the fur, I like how you can do it as a turtleneck and it's got these really nice straps or you can wear it with like the fur coming out. I definitely see myself wearing this in autumn, I think it's a very autumnal colour palette. Then, a couple pieces from Redancy, another amazing small brand, they're based in London and they did a collab with the one and only Tia O'Donnell. She's an artist. They very kindly wanted to send me something from the collab. So they sent me their shirt and the matching tights. Look at this craziness right now. Firstly, can I just say these tights are some of the softest tights I've ever had the pleasure of putting on my body. They're also the perfect in between of not too sheer, but not too thick. She's so fun. And then obviously, like I said, I have the matching shirt. Oh, see this would be crazy, but this would be kind of cool. She's so fun. So Redanti as well, I feel like Redanti always does little like mesh shirts like this, so soft, good for layering. I think it will look really good with some like lace bra under, or like done up, but just at the top with like a cami. I think that would be adorable. Thank you so much Redanti and Tia O'Donnell, I feel so um, happy that I have something from the collection. I think you can tell the tights are definitely my favourite, I'm literally obsessed with these. I want to style them up and I'm sure if you follow me on socials, I'm gonna try and do that over the next couple months, so I'm sure you'll see it. Um, I'm gonna get out of this top because obviously this is awkward. The next piece is definitely one of my favorites in this haul because I already have it. <laughs> it already existed. I bought this coat years ago, back when I was in school. It was vintage, I wore the crap out of it. So much so, the lining's gone, the pockets have like burst. And then I got bored of it, gave it to my sister. And I went home the other day and my love for like fur coats, I'd sort of forgotten I had it and I've been loaning it to my sister, so she didn't want it anymore, so she let me have it. Oh, the lining. I literally, my pet peeve is when like a coat's lining is broken and you put your hand into like the lining. I hate it. When I get some more money soon, I'm definitely gonna go and get this um, like relined because I think it would just help make this coat last even longer. Oh, it looks really cute. I don't know, there's something about it in this viewfinder with the tights. I just love it. My mum actually has a super identical one, which is the reason I got this in the first place. And it's so iconic to me and my sister's childhood. And when I found this, when I was vintage shopping one day, I was like, this is hilarious. It's basically like a smaller, shorter version of my mum's coat. I had to get it. So it's just kind of a nice like piece to have back in my collection that reminds me of my youth and stuff. So, you know, it's always good, I think, to keep on to old clothes if you have the space for it. She just needs a little bit of TLC, which hopefully I'm gonna give to her soon. Anyway, there's that piece. Down to the last few things. This I got from a charity shop and guys, <laughs> I'm living behind my town of fantasy. Like you don't even get it. Look at this piece. I love it. I see it working. And even like asymmetric up here, incredible. I actually have kitten heels that would suit this outfit way better but it's coming in a vintage haul soon because I've been demolishing vintage. You're not ready for this haul. I had to separate it for this one because I was like, it needs its whole moment, but soon all will be revealed and you'll see the accompanying shoes for this outfit. I love it. I think you can see the vibe and I've been wanting to be Hannah Montana for Halloween for years. And when I found this, I was like, it's over, it's happening. 
this is just the biggest sign I need. And then <gasps> my sister for Christmas, she killed it. And she got me three Hannah Montana things from Vinted. I'm gonna lead up to the biggest one so you can just like, you know, the, an no, fine. We're gonna start with this then. The anticipation is gonna be growing. The best mug I've ever received in my life. If I wake up every day and I start my morning drinking out of this and I see that beautiful face, done. Good day is on the way. That picture is everything. Then, oh my god, with this outfit. Hello. Oh my god, it says secret celebrity on it. Mood. Mood. Me. Me in 2023. Hannah Montana, but like chill Hannah Montana. This is me right now. Then, final thing, you're not ready. <laughs> Sequin pink and purple Baker Boy cap. Not only that, which in itself is enough. Pin. Hannah Montana pin with jingling down charms and it's official bloody merch. It's official bloody merch, a Disney store exclusive as well. If I want to time travel and Halloween is right now, like today, this is done. I can be Hannah Montana right now. This is perfect. And what I love is I can take off the badge and I can put it on clothes, skirts, skirts are clothes, clothes, accessories. This is everything. And I know you guys will love it. And I know you'll appreciate it. And I have to leave it to the end because like some people don't get it. And some people might be like, you're a freak. But then, you know, the real ones, the real ones get it, so. Okay, the last thing in this haul, a bit random to be left. I think this should have been left till last, let's be real. <laughs> we got one more thing and that's this top. I actually found it from a charity shop in the kids section. Firstly, we're talking about baby tees that fit well. This can join the club because let me try it on for you. I've never come across a kid's baby tee that fits so good. The stretch, it's got that like coquette fabric. I went to this Don't Shop Swap and Wings Vintage launch event the other night and they had somebody do like heat press clothes. I'll put their Instagram on screen and you can send whatever picture you wanted to get printed. And I ended up doing my London postcard and I had it on my art Instagram and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. It's kind of fun. And then you're like, oh, you're a bit boring, babe. I'm boring now. Am I? And that is everything in the haul. Thank you all so much for making it to the end. Don't forget to check out my collection, Midnight Thoughts, that I released with En Route in the description of this video if you haven't already. You all mean the world to me. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Subscribe down below and follow me on my social media. And as always, I will see you in my next video.